what? Those portraits? No, I never had. Yeah, well, neither had we until today. So our next guest has been painting animal portraits for nearly two decades. Please welcome pet portraitist oh, Matt wow. Johnson. Very Hi. nice work, Thank Matt. Thank you. Thank you for being here. So how did you, you get into pet portraitist? Well, I was thing? <laughs> working as a muralist uh, 20 years ago. A client asked me if I would incorporate a dog that had recently passed away in their family. Aww. I know. Um, and I was painting a landscape mural and okay. she wanted it in the landscape. Oh, really? I said, of course, and I did. And her reaction was something like I did not expect at all. She loved it uh -huh. and she cried. And I thought, wow, this is way different than a uh, reaction that I normally get from my portraits or my, sorry, my the paintings. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I just felt so grateful to be part of that, Moment. helping her, you know, celebrate that relationship she had with her pet. What type of animals do you tend to paint and have you had, had any crazy requests? <laughs> yes, well normally it's the normal roster. It's dogs, cats, <gasps> and birds, and horses for sure. But someone did contact me to paint a herd of elephants and I did. A herd I think you have of a clip, yeah. No, these weren't their pets. Not their pets, <laughs> no. She just was an elephant fanatic. She loves elephants. You're so. very, very talented. Thank you. Yeah, you yeah. can totally tell there. So how do you make them look so real? Well, I focus on the eyes for sure, because mm -hmm. that's how we communicate with our pets. We had a story today where we we're going to talk about that is how you can tell how much a dog loves you yes. because they exchange eye That's what I call you. it, that look of love. <laughs> look of but love. Sometimes we, they just stare and stare at you and won't stop. <laughs> right. Well, that's when they want to treat. But you know, you guys love animals, right? Yes. You have Kobe and you have Charlie, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think uh, now's a good time to bring out a little something for you guys. Woo! Cutest underbite ever, and Cute. the best freckle in the ear ever. Oh my god, a freckle! How do you pay ear. attention? You saw his underbite. Is yeah. that it right there? Yeah. Look at that! Wow, you're Aww. dead on. Okay, I, I'm gonna take this home and take a picture of Kobe looking at this, and I will make sure that you get that because Great. I wonder what his reaction is gonna be. <laughs> my goodness! I hope, I hope Kobe freaks out when he, see, he sees himself. <laughs> he does. Oh this my God, awesome. I look great. It's so <laughs> lifelike. It's so real. Very All yeah. the whiskers. Thank wow. You. Well, they're beautiful animals, and I know how much you love them. So Right. And I don't know if you yeah. said this before, how long does it take you to paint these? Usually four to six weeks for one portrait, depending on the background. You know, if Do you work on multiples at a time? I, yeah, during the holidays I do. Oh my goodness, you're <laughs> wow. amazing. A big part of my business is gifts. Oh, look, right. at, look at you there. And there surprises. Kobe. Right. And if somebody wants to buy something like this, what would that cost them? Um, mid hundreds to thousands. I mean, it really depends on the size of the piece, mm -hmm. the number of animals, wow. and the subject matter. So Sometimes I need to put people... this behind a glass case then, basically, <laughs> right? It's priceless. Well, you're going to have it in your family forever, right? <laughs> Thank you so much, Matt. For more information about Matt Johnson's pet portraits, please go to WindyCityLive.com. Be sure to tune in for viral animal videos tonight on Windy City After Dark. Hope you've enjoyed our wild show today. We'll see you later. See ya. Have a good one.